sleep well. I hope you did. You actually looked kind of cute while you were sleeping. You did drool a bit, though. Well, a lot. But don't worry. It wasn't a problem to clean off. Hey, hey, hey. Slow down. You shouldn't try to get up so quickly. You might pass out again. You look confused. Yeah, I'm a regular customer at the dining you work at. I actually come in every day at the same time, just so I can see you. You're even prettier up close, you know. I don't think I've ever seen this close to you before. You have the most beautiful eyes and your skin. It's so soft. Tell me, do you like the way I touch your cheek like this? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. You can't really talk with that tape over your mouth, can you? I want to take it off. I really do. But how do I know that you won't make any noise? I don't want you to alert anyone. I could remove it. If I remove it, do you promise not to, uh, to yell or scream? Okay. Hold still. There. I hope it didn't hurt your lips. I tried to pull it off as carefully as I could. If I hurt your lips, I could never forgive myself. They look so nice. I always looked at them when you'd repeat my order back to me. Now that I'm this close to you, I can really appreciate them. What's going on? Isn't it obvious? I like you, silly. Why else would I bring you here? Well, I didn't want to go for the hassle of small talk, so I'd figured it'd be easy just to bring you down here. How could that have been easier than small talk? <laughs> well, well, I already know so much about you without having to do so much. So small talk wouldn't really be necessary, would it? What do I mean? Well, I didn't have to go looking for most of the things that I know about you. For example, I know what days you work because I go to that diner every day. The days I saw you were obviously the days you worked. And the days I didn't see you were the days that you were off. I know that your lunch breaks aren't nearly as long as they need to be. Because you'll always talk to your co-workers about it. I know that you're single because they always tease you about it too. And you make a lot of jokes about wishing someone would just take you away from it all. I mean, yeah, my methods were definitely unorthodox, but is this not what you talked about? Oh my god, it is, isn't it? Did you want me to do this? Were you hoping I'd do something like this? And to think that you tried to be sassy with me earlier. Hey, there's no need to be embarrassed, honestly. You're so beautiful. I'm surprised that no one else has beat me to it. Of course I mean it. Anyone would be lucky to kidnap you. I've even made sure to do it on one of your days off. How many people would be considerate enough to do that? You look so cute when you blush, baby doll. Yeah, that's a nickname I know you love. I remember your co-worker talking about how much they love it when their boyfriend calls them that. I believe your exact words were, I'd love to be called Baby Doll. <laughs> That's adorable. I probably shouldn't be telling you all the things I know about you from observation. But you just make the cutest faces when I do. Yeah, I've heard you talk about that. And it makes me sad. I know you aren't used to people say paying attention to you. And you don't deserve to feel that way at all. You deserve someone who knows all the little things about you. I can't wait to get to know you better. You're already amazing. And that's just from seeing you at work every day for the last nine weeks. Of course I've counted. 63 days, 16 hours and 23 minutes. All spent observing you. Well, not all. I had to do other things, like eating and sleeping. <laughs> uh, 
<sighs> I'm sorry, I shouldn't be saying all this uh, this to you right now. You're probably still groggy. Well, you were leaving work, and you were walking home. But I offered you a ride. I told you that I lived near your apartment. And since I had overheard your address from one of your co-workers who gave you a ride previously, I was able to, I was able to tell you the street that you lived on. You were so thankful that you gave me a hug, which gave me the perfect opportunity to use this. I was worried that the needle wouldn't penetrate the skin, but it passed through the layers of your clothes like butter. All I had to do was put you in the passenger seat and drive to your apartment. And your keys were in your purse, so getting in was no problem at all. Anyways, now that we're here, I'm going to take care of everything. All of those things you've complained about, being alone, wishing you had someone to spend your time with, wanting to be spoiled. I'm going to make sure that you're so cherished, it hurts. Sorry, that kind of intense, let's focus on something else. Like, food. Yes, food. I'm going to make you dinner. While you were sleeping, I looked in the kitchen and saw enough ingredients to make you something nice after a long day at work. However, I would prefer it if you were asleep while I made it. I'm still honing my cooking skills and I'd rather have you awake up to smell of a home-cooked meal than the sound of me fumbling around in the kitchen. Sorry, <laughs> still working on my needle skills. Here, let's get you comfortable. I tried to find the softest blanket and pull that I could, and judging by how cold you look, I'd say that was successful. Sleep well, baby doll. I'll have dinner ready for you when you wake up.